I'm really not here for the lighting or the angling in this room. I'm so annoyed, but I'm here to do it anyway. So, hey y'all, um, upgrade to UCAM 5. Will I have better quality if I upgrade? I'm sorry, sidebar. Um, we are here with our hood on indoors, which is BTW rude as hell and very disrespectful. But in this case, I wanted to make an exception. So today is the final day of um, the Trayvon Martin and George Zimmerman case. Well, at least this is the day for final arguments for the prosecution and the defense. And we, I decided that I would do it since I've been continuing to, you know, put the word out about the things and the case and things of that nature. That today I would do a final argument of my own, if you will. And this will be the final time you will hear anything Trayvon Martin, George Zimmerman from me on this channel, unless something serious hits the fan. But other than that, I prefer for this boy to be able to rest in peace. I prefer for this man to be able to go and do which or choose whichever. Well, he won't be choosing. Live whichever path will be chosen for him and be done with it. Because I'm sick of it. Well, not sick of it. But yeah, I'm sick of it and I just want it to be over. So, this video will be full of opinions. Small amount of facts. Great amount of opinions. So, don't come for me with your Huffington Post talking about some XYZ. I know what the hell happened, okay? Well, at least I've extrapolated what I believe happened, and it's solidified in my head, so there's no change in my mind. So, here we go. For you guys who are under a rock, I'll just brief you guys on exactly what went down. So, Trayvon Martin, a 17-year-old African-American male who was shot down by a self-appointed neighborhood watchman, and I would like to bunny ear self-appointed neighborhood watchman, George Zimmerman, in um, a suburban area in Florida. Now, here is how <clears throat> here is how the picture is being painted for the most part. Trayvon was going to the store. He went to the little corner store, got him some Skittles and iced tea. That's why you're seeing all these pictures of Skittles and things around. Skittles probably went through the roof thanks to this case. But that's a sidebar. Um, yeah, what was I talking about? The Skittles. Yeah, so he got some Skittles and iced tea. Coming back from the store, he's walking through the neighborhood, he has his hood on because it's raining. And George Zimmerman decided that Trayvon was a character at which could possibly be suspicious. And he decided to pursue him after being advised from his dispatcher, which I don't know where he got a dispatcher from. Well, I think he dialed 911. That dispatcher told him, no need to pursue, mind your business, you know, go about your day. Let this boy go do what he's doing. He decided to pursue him anyway. Um, apparently, once he finally caught up with him, an altercation enthused, there was, um, and Trayvon was shot by George Zimmerman. Now, here's the key key why this case is so important. One is because he went after the, the teen, or Trayvon, who was A, unarmed, B, not a threat to anybody. He was just walking around, minding his business, going back to his father's house. His father and his, um, mother-in-law lives in that area. And... The reason why he wasn't arrested instantly, or uh, George Zimmerman, was because he was claiming the stand your ground law, which in Florida essentially says if you get in the fight with somebody and you feel like your life is in danger and you just happen to kill that person, you're okay. Okay? So, the shit that goes down in Florida, right? That wouldn't go down nowhere but in Florida. Just saying. So, Here's my, this is my final analysis of it all. And after this, I promise I'm done with it. So, first of all, I said previous or sometime way back, George was a self-appointed neighborhood watcher, meaning one day he decided, you know what, I don't think my neighborhood is safe. So I'm going to put on my cape and my tidy whities and I'm going to watch my neighborhood and make sure it's a safe place to be. So... I don't know if there's like a self-appointed neighborhood watch class that he might have missed, but apparently neighborhood watches are not supposed to carry guns. Now, granted, George Zimmerman had a gun license and things of that nature. He was eligible to carry a gun if he wanted to. However, on neighborhood watch, you are not allowed to carry a gun, a firearm. How do I know? Because he looked it up. Yes, I did. So... That's when he messed up, number one, if you ask me. Number two, when the dispatcher told you, hi, you don't need to, you know, pursue him, you should have got back in your little car, your little 
I guess, little Jeep Wrangler, or that's what Neighborhood Watchmen's drive, and drove off to the next little corner to watch that corner. You shouldn't have, if you had not pursued him, it would have been settled, squashed, done, died. Little Trayvon's little brother would have been eating his Skittles, he would have been drinking his tea, all that, minding business. Number three, <coughs> excuse me, and I totally just lost my thought because I threw in that Skittles pun. God damn it. Um, <laughs> I hate when that happens. Oh, what was I going to say? Oh, number three. You are a watchman. Okay? And when you when I say the word watchman, I emphasize the word watch. Like, all you are to do is watch with your little binoculars. If you see something suspicious, guess what you do? You call the police who are authorized to carry guns and tasers and those little things that they hit you with you are not to oh I'm sorry you are not to go and play 504 boy you are a watchman okay and granted you did call the police you went against what the the feds told you to do and you went and followed the boy anyway after we told you not to after the actual authorities told you not to so and then, let me just really quickly address this whole marijuana thing. Because apparently, they're looking into how Trayvon was apparently high or something. He was high at the time. What the fuck does that have to do with him being shot while walking around Howard? You know how many people walk around here high as hell, just out of the blue? You might think they're smoking a cigarette. No, they're smoking a blunt. They are higher than, they are higher than like Jesus' shoulder right now. And... You wouldn't know it. So what does that exactly have to do with the reason why he was shot? I don't know why they brought that random fact into the to the case. Like What I believe they were trying to demean Trayvon's character and make him seem like, oh yeah, he was high, he got high. and he, It's not like you say anything about his school grades because apparently he had like a 3.7 GPA or something like that. So you can't say he was like a debt to society. He was apparently a good kid, apparently, allegedly. I put allegedly on everything just because I don't want no shit on me. So, <clears throat> um, let's see. Is there anything else we need to address? The drugs. You shouldn't have went following them. Um, you shouldn't have had that gun. Somebody just threw something off their patio. You fucking bastards. Um, drugs, gun, walking around. Oh, if um, the jury is a jury of six women, six, um, I think five of them are European Americans. I don't like using the word white women because that's just, I just, that sounds so rude to me. So I just use European. European and another one is of an other ethnicity, apparently. She's not, I don't know if she's black or African American or Hispanic. I'm not sure, but she's not a Caucasian. Caucasian even sounds bad coming from me. Maybe it's just coming out of my mouth. I don't know. Whatever. So, they'll be ruling today. The final arguments are today. I, for one, believe that George Zimmerman is clearly, clearly, pretty damn clearly, I don't even know why this case needs to go any further than this, guilty of murdering this young man. I don't, I don't get how anybody else could extrapolate anything else but murder from this case. Like, I, I think they said it's either murder or manslaughter or like what's the fucking difference it, it, well apparently there's a difference if you know please that was a serious question put it down there I would like to know so um that's it I believe he's guilty in, in the court of law or in the court of my law aka these four walls George Zimmerman is guilty of killing Trayvon Martin for no reason and to these people, if you want to go and riot, please do not go rioting. I just here's my thing about this whole riot. People talking about some if he go if he gets off, they're gonna go start killing folk and just randomly shooting white people. And I'm sorry, I said it again. European people. And if he if he is locked up, then European people are gonna just go start rioting, killing black folk. What the fuck does that prove? Like really, I just want to know. It makes no sense to go out and shooting people like, now your ass gonna get locked up because everybody don't live in Florida. Everybody can't stand their ground, apparently. So if you up here and you decide to go riding, you will go to jail. I will be... 
I will make sure I want to be on the jury. I will get my jury duty papers. I'm going to be you guilty. You're going to jail. So whining is not the answer. I believe in a higher power. If he gets off, at the end of the day, he's going to have to deal with his past sins and things of that nature. Uh, Jesus, take the wheel and things of that nature. So that's all I got to say. It's real. It's never supposed to be 10 minutes. I love you guys for watching. Let your co Leave your comments down below. Say it like you mean it. If you agree, if you disagree, say it all down there, okay? I love you guys. Be safe and be happy. I'm going to make banana pudding. Peace. Say it like you mean it. Ooh, ooh, shout it out. I think the camera was supposed to be turned off for that, and it's still fucking running. And it's still running. How many times do I have to press goddamn stop?